Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm the Youth Services Librarian here at the Phoebe Apperson Hearst Library in the city of Leeds, South Dakota. And today I'm here to talk to you a little bit and get pique your interest, get you excited about our preschool story time that will be starting here for the school year this next week. It'll be held every Wednesday at 11.15. I'm gonna quick, try and keep this video brief, so I'm gonna quick go over some books um, that will be featured this next Wednesday. So we're going to start our story time this year with a book that has been nominated in the Prairie Award system. And that book is called One Fox, a counting thriller. Not only does it explore the fun idea of the fox in the hen house and the little bit of danger that piques our young readers' interest, but that it's also an excellent book to get them to start counting and begin those first number explorations. The author is also the illustrator here. Kate Reed. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of what some of those illustrations look like and what the book is like. Very easy to read. It's going to keep their interest, keep them engaged, and honestly, they're going to beg for you to read it over and over. Along with that book, and while still continuing to explore the idea of fox and hens, uh, we'll be reading the classic Hattie and the Fox. And Rosie's Walk, another author illustrator book. If you want to check out some books that will explore more of the concepts that we look at in those books for your child, uh, we have we have some good ones for counting. We have a couple of good board books. We have Fish Counting, again, not a whole lot of words, very easy to count along with your child. Ten Little Dinosaurs. And that's fun. Lots of color. Keeps them engaged. One of my favorites, while being black and white, the pencil drawings are incredibly lifelike and goes through, again, counting the different animals. The nice thing about this book is if you have a slightly older reader, you've got some facts that you can read along with to keep them engaged. Or if you have a younger reader, you can just go with the counting and the simple words on each page. If you want to look at chickens and explore that more, a great first fact book for preschoolers is this series, Face to Face. We have several of these here at the library. This one's about a chicken. All of them feature full color photographs and the life cycle of the animal that it features. We have Catch That Chicken, an excellent multicultural uh, adventure with Lamy and how she is the best chicken catcher in her village. The wonderful thing about this book is for this age group, it starts to explore uh, those, that concept of self-worth and your place in a community. And it presents it in a way for children to easily grasp and understand how important they are, no matter what their abilities. A funny book that we actually featured in an earlier story time this spring is The Chicken Who Couldn't. This is a laugh out loud, hilarious adventure. I highly recommend this book. Your kids will love it. And when it comes to foxes, honestly, the options are almost endless. So many books, I had to narrow it down. A newer book here is Fox vs. Winter, and since we're here in South Dakota, uh, it's the end of September. Won't be long before we see our first snowfall, I guarantee you. It's a fun one. It's also a beginning reader, so if you have a preschooler that's a little advanced and is starting to read some books on their own, this is an excellent um, one to add to your repertoire. Very easy to read. Great pictures and a funny story. It'll keep them uh, engaged and interested. Um, another one, and this is actually a series. I don't have the first uh, one in the series right now because it's checked out, but it is A Pig, a Fox, and a Box. Hilarious books. Um, again, great ones for your um, slightly more progressed readers, so maybe like a first grade level for this one. And one that 
has always been a favorite in our family is Fantastic Mr. Fox by The Great Roll Doll. This has been a first chapter book read aloud for my kids, for all four of my kids, and they've all loved it. From the awful, nasty Bunsen Bean and, uh, oh gosh, I can't even remember his name now. Bogus Bunsen Bean, that's right, from those awful, nasty farmers to the adventures of Mr. Fox and his family, just trying to feed themselves. Have a little pity for the foxes. And then, I don't want to leave this out. It's a video, it's a DVD we have here called The Fox and the Child. It's a French film, but Kate Winslet reads, uh, narrates the English part of it. So it's an excellent narration of a beautiful story of friendship, of learning what it means to interact with our wildlife. I can't recommend this movie enough. While it is uh, live action, not animated, you might have a little trouble convincing your children if they're like mine to watch it, but I think you will find it quite engaging and a story that the whole family will enjoy. So that's what I have for actual materials you can check out here at the library, give you an idea of what we have available to you. You're welcome to get a card at our library. If you are a Lawrence County resident, it is free of charge to you. You just have to show proof of residency within Lawrence County. If you live outside of Lawrence County, our cards are only $15 easily manageable in your budget. We'd love to see you in here. We've got coffee, tea for the adults. We've got, um, well, we have water and snacks for the kids. <laughs> um, but you know, with our preschool story time, we always have a small snack for them. We understand you're getting close to lunch and, and uh, nap time. So we definitely don't want any hangry little ones running around. So we always serve a snack after we're done with our books and our craft time. If you need more information, feel free to give us a call here at the library. The number is 605-584-2013, or you can look us up on our website as well, Phoebe Hearst Library, or look up Lead Library. It should be your first Google hit. I've enjoyed presenting these books to you today, and I hope you are excited about bringing your kids into the library and reading to them. Take care. Bye.